Hi there. Data set discoverability is a feature in Microsoft Power BI that enables users to find endorsed data set inside the organization that they don't have access to. But how to find it? How to enable it? Well, you'll get to know in this video everything about it. And if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. If you want to implement self-service in your organization using Microsoft Power BI, then you have to make your data sets discoverable. Without discoverability, the full value of endorsement, that is directing users to quality data, is not fully realized. In one of my previous video, I have already discussed everything about data set endorsement. That means how you can promote your data set and how you can make that certified. If you haven't watched that video yet, please do watch that. I'm going to provide you a link in the description section. Endorsement is a way of telling users that a data set is a trusted quality source of data that they can safely use. However, in Power BI endorsement data sets, like all other data sets, are only visible to those who have access to them. Now let's go to the Power BI portal and where we are going to see how we can make a data set discoverable. So for that, you have to come on your Microsoft Power BI portal or there you have to go to the admin portal settings or here you have to come under these tenant settings as you can see on the top one. And here you have to check for the discoverability settings. And here you can see these discovery settings. That means these settings are going to help you out to discover a data set that has been promoted inside your organization or that has been certified already so that people can reuse them and they can start creating their own content or own reports and dashboards on the top of that or using those particular data sets. So over here first you have to enable these settings. First would be the promoted content discoverable. Over here you can even use a specific user group or you can make it for entire organization and also you can mention under this except specific security groups that you don't want to take the leverage of this kind of functionality. Similarly you have to go for make certified content discoverable. Over here you would find the similar settings and last one is discover content. This setting is going to allow users to find and request access to content they don't have access to if it was made discoverable by its owners. Now, the real question comes after making the changes over here, how you can make a data set discoverable. So for that, you can go to your workspace where you have published that particular data set. Now let's go to this demo workspace. Over here, I have many data sets. So let's check this demo file. This one, I can simply click on these three dots over here, then go to this settings tab. Once you are over here, you will find one tab that means endorsement and discovery. Currently, you can see that it's none. Now, if I would like other users to take the advantage of this data set so that they can do their self service or they can create their own reports and dashboard. So first I have to promote it. And once the users validate this one, that can be certified too. Once you do that, then what you have to do, you have to come under this setting. Then you have to either select on promoted one or certified one. And then there is a checkbox over here, which you can mark it as check and which is going to make it discoverable. That means if I apply the changes over here, then other users can discover this data set. Now, this is going to be the part of your data hub. And if they need access over here, then they have to request the access. Now, the question comes, who can make them discoverable? That means who can make a data set discoverable? For that, you need at least a member role or you should be the admin in that particular workspace where the data set has been endorsed. Otherwise, you won't be able to do that. All right, guys, I have made everything that is necessary. And over here, you can check my email address, which is connected via consultingpro.com. Now, I'm going to log in into my another account. And from that account, I'll try to find out this data set, which is the name with demo file. So let's move into my another account and try to find it out. Over here, you can see that I have logged in with this another account, which is sandy at biconsultingpro.com. And over here, I can come to this data hub tab and here I can try to find a data set. Although it's going to be already over here, if it's not there, then you can also try to find it out. And what you can do, if you cannot see any data set over here, you can search it by keyword. However, we don't need to do that. Over here, you can see that there is a demo file. So this is the data set that I have just made it discoverable for everyone inside my organization. And you can see that it has been promoted. 
So you need to request the access for this one only then you can start utilizing this data set. You can see that it's simply saying request access to work with this data set. So simply click over here and here you can find one text message which is saying an email will be sent to data set on a request in building permission for this data set. Over here you have to simply type your message. For example, please grant me build permission for this data set or if you have any specific message that you can also type it over here. As soon as you are going to click on this send button, it's going to send an email to the data set owner requesting build permission for this particular data set. So let's click on send and now you can see that we have sent a request to the data set owner to get or to grant the build permission on this data set. Over here you can see this email. It's clearly saying that so Sandy or sandyrbaconsulting.com has requested build access to the Power BI dataset demo file and over here if you're going to click on this you can see that I'm granting access over here. Over here there are some of the information that you can use. For example when you are going to share a dataset you can just type the email address over here. Let me type it sandy at baconsultingpro.com and once I click on this, it's saying allow recipient to share the data set, allow recipient to build content with the data set associated with this data set and send an email notification. Just grant the access. Now let's move to the another account and see whether we have got their permission or not. So I'm over here again. I'm just going to refresh it and that should be visible now. And here you can see that this data set is now visible, which is being promoted. And over here, the owner is BI Consulting Pro. That means where I am the admin. So that's how you can make any data set that has been promoted or being certified inside your organization as discoverable data set. So that anyone inside your organization who are using Power BI, they can take the leverage of this feature and they can start using the shared data sets and they can also create their own content that is reports and dashboards and then they can share with other users. So guys, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you have any feedback or you have any concern? Please don't forget to let us know in the comment section. Also, for more videos related to Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest contents. See you in the next video.